guys. It is me, Phoenix. We are here, sorry, to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my sticks, mean I have my back because I have yours. We're going to see where you are in love. I've been doing love readings because I'm trying to stay away from the negativity <laughs> in regards to the reads, but there you have it. Let's go ahead and see where your energy is. Please do me a favor. Again, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Self-love, that's right. Hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on a yellow heart. You rock with me. Got my six. Me to have my back. I know I said it before because I have yours. Um, yeah, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. So we have self-love that comes out in redemption. You are redeeming yourself for far too long. You have probably been in a situation, and we'll see what it is, that you had to kind of put yourself on a back burner. Yeah, dealing with the habitual liar. I'll pull one more card. It says can't uh, hide in lies anymore. Lies exposed. So you've been dealing with somebody that hasn't been honest with you, and you've been unsure on how to deal with that. Bottom of the deck. We have work. Yeah, so you've been working on yourself. Focus on your focus on your work. Um, it says work hard, uh, long hours, love at work. So you have been focusing on yourself. Yeah, revenge body. Yeah, so that is what you're doing. Instead of you focusing on the liar or the person who's not honest with you in regards to their feelings, the way that, you know, things have been going, you've just been focusing on uh, trying to do things, you know, redeeming yourself, getting back. You know, getting your body back, getting your mental back to where you had to, you know, the things you put on the back burner, yeah. Uh, com confrontation, yeah. So unsure about the conflict and the confrontation and the judgment um, and you can get being compared to, or I'm going to say this, not being compared to, I'm going to, look at all these cards that came out, bottom of the deck, length, yeah, time, yeah, you've been, over time, you've been, um, it says thinking invisible in time, and then it says length. So to me, I believe that you have been compared to what somebody else would do or what somebody else has done when it comes to this person and this situation. And it also says daydream. So sober, remote, refuge, and then it says happiness, contentment, happiness, satisfaction, password box, privacy, confidential, security, security old, memories, experience, and history, and in a daze. Uh, consider foolish and hesitant, and then energy is here, uh, abundance, wealth, and freedom, friendly, uh, love, harmony, and respect, and the answer is no, N uh, negation, it says, is that negation or negotiation, I don't know, negation, uh, okay, doubt and speculation, so there was a lot of speculation in regards to how somebody really was when it came to you dealing with them in the past, you not seeing what it is that you you know, them not saying what it is that they really want, them playing games with you. So you went on a spiritual journey. You you got back in the gym, you know, if not not gym, working out, you know, you stop focusing on the lies that they were told. You start focusing on you learning to meditate. I hate when I do that. Uh, deepening the relationship of self. So at some point, you weren't doing that. And so that's the reason why it came out in reverse is because you weren't giving yourself the love that, you deserved and the love, you know, because of the lack of love that you were getting, if that makes sense. And so you had to turn around. I'm going to pull another card out of there because it's in the reverse. It says learning your soul language and what uh, motivates you and brings joy um, is the art of self-love. So you weren't loving yourself. So you had to connect with your soul, bottom of the deck, fear. Facing fear, which is an illusion of the mind, allows you to simply experience what is without reservation nor expectation so the thing is is that that's where you went on the spiritual journey at and had to understand to just say no when it came to certain situations you daydreaming about the potential somebody has them taking away your happiness it's a lot of misspelled words in this card deck um sorry somebody coming through my um gate i have a package being delivered and so they notify me when the gate when somebody comes to the community anyway so um yeah you had to when it came to things like trying to figure out you know look in their phone if that's even the case or somebody just being protective over what they're really doing lying about the things that they're doing and so 
you know, the energy, changing your energy to the friendly energy and just no more doubt, no more speculation and just learning the soul connection that you have to have with yourself. It says you are connected with someone who will play a significant role in your soul's evolution. Again, learning how to love yourself the right way, not letting somebody give you a situation because you're afraid to lose them or make you feel some type of way because you're afraid to lose them. It says whether short or long term, this person is an important, uh, important to your journey. So thank them. Remember, no man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. This person, place, thing, or situation taught you how to really focus on your self-love again to deepen your relationship with self and not to really just, uh, you know, focus on what somebody, the lack of what somebody is doing to you or towards you and just to move forward. And that's the hardest thing. It's confusing. Yeah, it plays tricks on your mind. You know, you want to have your cake and eat it too. Not necessarily um, like a material type thing, but you want to be loved. And this causes you to lose your mind, to not really, uh, you know, to keep playing things back in your head. Yeah, comparison, to be compared to others, to be, you know, always uh, never good enough. And it makes you feel guilty like you're not doing what it is but again your mind is in tandem because you've been dealing with somebody and now the universe is telling you here's the card Ooh, sorry at the bottom of the deck to transform to get out of that situation to get out of the situation and to start focusing on what it is that you need to do to take a leap for yourself full energy to take a leap to get out of your head stop fearing the thing and go on an adventure that's basically where the universe is telling you and what the universe is telling you to do because of the fact this card stayed down. So, yeah, yeah, full moon energy, illuminated subcon subconscious. It says timing within a month. Next full moon, emotional awareness, climax, move on, cycles and completion. Yeah, this is the end of a cycle that you need to go ahead and just move on from instead of you focusing on that energy. Yeah, this unsure energy about the waxing moon. This has, the moon has something to do with that. Maybe if I can find my... I can't think of the name of it, what the moon deck, I don't know what the name of it is, but the timing is and within one to ten, ten, one to two weeks, it says shifting consciousness, gaining strength, and it also says uh, reevaluate your plan. So you look at things in a different light, and this has to do with the full moon, letting go, releasing Ace of Swords energy, having awareness and insight of what it is, having clarity, you know, to be able to communicate the things that you want. King of Swords energy, a lot of air energy out here moon energy Pisces uh, but you know the thing is is that you have to be able to understand where you are and the king of swords is here authoritarian it's in the reverse and so somebody who is cold sarcastic controlling and uh, drunk of power loose cannon three of wands energy a lack of foresight restrictions returning home stall postpone regression inhibited uh, it says lack of progress and thinking too small so you need to think big you know, three of wands energy, you know, having the foresight to be able to see what it is. And this is the three of wands that's in the reverse. So you, you, a lack of foresight is what you're at because you're so busy. You were so, were, we're going to say in the past, were so busy. And here it is choosing your battles. But I was going to say, uh, looking at the, um, the, the, the lies and the being compared and confronting, trying to confront somebody for the truth that it was driving you crazy and then once you started to yep there you go chariot energy transform and focus on yourself you stop looking at things in regards to um you know it drive what it's doing and how is it driving you crazy start taking the leap and planning to do things you know bottom of the deck is the planning to do things the two of coins you have a decision to make so the decision to make is either to love yourself uh to or to keep focusing on the things that are making you you know, feel guilty and lose your mind and focus on the lies that are being told, but you're redeeming yourself and you're working things out and you're making the decision to overcome. It says overcommit. And this is a two of, sort, two of coins in the reverse, um, a plan, excuse me, planning and execution, overcommitment, poor choices, scattered, dropping the ball, overwhelmed and disorganized. So this energy is causing you to be disorganized. That's why the universe is saying to end it, the tower and upright, a, a reckoning. So it's telling you to transform yourself, your energy, and go from there. Because again, at some point, you're hurting yourself more than anything else. And so you have to ask yourself what it is that you need to do and where do you start. So I'm going to pull from this is the Soul Truth deck to see 
um, what comes out. But again, focusing on self love and and redeeming yourself and going back to not just worried about because you never were worried about how somebody felt about you. You know, it's just sad when you love a person or you love some type of job and they treat you uh, less than and you just keep allowing it because you, of your fear to and this it in work is here. So it could be because of your fear of not being able to find a new job or not being able to feeling guilty if you if you walk away from a thing that you've been doing for so long, you know, and so you've been going through this for two years. We have the two of Pentacles here again. Each year is equivalent to a year when it comes to the Pentacles. So you have been working on trying to, uh, yep, let it go. Am I letting fear stop me? It, I can't say it any better than that. You know, you have been focusing on what will happen if you walk away, what will happen if you stop believing the lies or you just keep ignoring the lies, you know, being in doubt, you know. So am I letting fear stop me? That's what you have to ask yourself and the soul connection and also uh, self-love. It says, are you experiencing a mountain of fear right now? Are you stalling, freezing, or giving up? The juicy secret is that you are the boss. Remember I said in regards to work, you are the boss of fear. It says you are unstoppable, but it, it, it's up to you to see that by taking action. Um, it's up to you to see that by taking action. Today, so action. Today, be brave and do it scared. Choose one fear and move through it. You are in need of a hero. So that is who you will become. So are you letting fear stop you? That's what you have to ask yourself. And that is where we're going to go ahead and end that. I, I think this is a really good read that came out because, again, we started off with self-love and also not paying attention to the confrontations and them comparing you and feeling like you're, con you know, somebody, you're dealing with somebody that's constantly lying or, um, you know, they're being exposed and it's causing you to feel some type of way and doubt yourself. So that is a really good energy that is here. We're going to release the negativity and learn to learn love to learn to deal with fear and learn to have self love for ourselves. And that is with any situation moving forward. That's the transformation that happens when you stop letting fear stop you. You start taking leaps full energy up here and you start making decisions to do things for yourself and do things out of uh, pure love for yourself and not allow anybody to control the way you feel, if that makes sense. So if you want to know my perspective of the crystal decks, uh, which is dealing with the chakras or the four agreements, click the link up above. We have the green tourmaline and we have don't make assumptions, assume nothing. Don't make assumptions, assume nothing. It says in any kind of relationship, we can make assumptions that others know what we think and we don't have to say in what we want. We assume they are going to do what we want because they know us well. If they don't do what we want, we feel hurt and think, how could you do that? You should have known. That's when you, when I was saying not really confronting the lies and the comparisons and the judgments and things like that because you would think somebody would know how sensitive you are and that's the fear of you you know, not feeling like you're good enough. And that's why you're not going to let fear stop you. And you're going to focus and understand what your heart chakras are when it comes to dealing with certain situations that keeps your mind in tandem and making you feel guilty because, you know, you're dealing with somebody who it seems like don't, they don't like themselves is how I feel. But anyway, the green tourmaline heart chakra, it says transmute, clears, and heals. Transmute, clears, and heals. That's a part of self-love. My heart is filled with love, peace, and harmony. My heart is filled with love, peace, and harmony. And there you have it. So let's go ahead and let this old energy go. Look, the green is here. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys. Bye-bye.